Hi guys, and I'm back with this um, review on this uh, rolling stock. I know some of you might find these boring, but um, going by the past and some of the comments, uh, people find them interesting. Um, so I thought I'd carry on. Uh, this is the mainline one. Is it Pelotoy? Um, and this is a three-wheeled, I'm uh, sorry, a three-plank wagon uh, in the LMS. And it's had done by mainline. And the catalog number is uh, 37419, which I believe is the same number there, or, or close enough anyway. So yeah, um, I think this came out in the 70s or the 80s, something like that. And I believe the moulding now, Hornby or Backman have it. Um, it hasn't got any uh, ice blockaging or any polystyrene, it's got card, so I don't know if that's better than polystyrene, I'm not sure. So yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, the packaging and, well, the wagon uh, looks new, but it looks like it's not been used or ran. Um, yeah, it cost me a tenner, uh, which is... Um, still cheaper than the Hornby and Backman stuff, as you'll see soon. Um, detail wise, um, it's got the sprung loaded coupling, um, it's got the plastic wheels, uh, which don't really bother me. But the plastic wheels are no really under detail framing. We have the where well, it's made Hong Kong. Uh, the paint job isn't too bad. Some of the detail in it is pretty nice. Uh, the LMS is quite crisp. Um, pity the uh, wood is uh, the metal framing is grey. Uh, there's no stickers uh, like you get Dave Oxford. Uh, you do have a separate plied hook, which is probably over scale. Um, you can also see the uh, moulding marks on the buffers, uh, but. Once they run around, you're not going to see it. It's like a lot of things. It's you know, it's, you know, it's there, but no one else does um, unless they're really sad and get really close to it. Um, yeah, it's uh, very nice. Uh, that's meant to be wood, um, but there's no like it's just sort of like painted strips. Yeah, it's a very nice uh, little thing. Um, another one to add to my collection because I wanted a bit of height to it. Um, so yeah, that's that little uh, truck. Like I said, uh, coming up soon, there should be a price comparison. Um, so yeah. So yeah guys, that's um, the end of the video. Sorry there's no running session or history as such. Um, there's not much you can do with uh, rolling stock as a way of history. Uh, but I do try and get some. Um, as for running, it, it runs pretty well by itself. It's the best I can do. Um, uh, you might see it in upcoming videos. Um, just bear in mind that some are scheduled and it won't be seen and uh, we're all, I'm expecting, um, what was it, 20 something, 20th of July or something, uh, June, sorry. I'm expecting a big loco turn up, still waiting on it, um, so this might get pushed even back even further. Um, would I recommend one of these? Yeah. I think I think one was ten. Uh, we had three pound pressures, seven pound. I uh, wouldn't pay any more than seven pound for one. Um, you, I think if you pay seven pound for one, you can get two for the price of Hornby and Backman one. If you get carry of older stock, uh, personally, stock is stock to me. Um, but it does look very smart. Um, so yeah, you should see some videos coming up at some point. I have a few planned for it. Um, so yeah guys, sorry it's a short video, um, and it's not to everyone's cup of tea, um, I know in the past certain people have watched my review and they went out and bought a similar item to what I reviewed because of my review, uh, which is surprising, see I'm a small channel, I think I've got 
just under 500 subscribers. Uh, and these are the guys that were buying the stuff that I, I reviewed, t touching a thousand plus subscribers. Um, they had way more than me. So yeah, it is very nice. I must be doing something right. Um, so yeah, until next time, guys, it's goodbye from that little beauty, and it's goodbye from me. Bye.